Well, hello everybody. I uh, just figured I'd give you guys. I don't know where to look. This is crazy. I don't. I don't know what to do. Am I looking? Does it look better if I just look off? I like to look off somewhere. Hey everybody. Just thought I'd give you a little update on my recovery. Um, as y'all know, I broke my neck pretty good. So take this collar off here and kind of show you what's going on. You can see this little scar here. That's where they had to go in through the front of my neck. They had to tie my vocal cords and all that stuff inside there, kind of off to the side, and get in there and repair a bunch of stuff. I've got all kinds of metal in my neck. But the reason I had to go in through here, something about a cage, and there was a destroyed vertebrae they had to completely clean out of there. But that's why my voice is kind of screwed up. I can't. I can't talk very high, or I don't know, it's kind of screwed up. Yeah, that's that's the little scar on the front. I'm going to try to bring you around to the back here. I think I'm in front of a mirror. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, anyhow, here I'll try this. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just... I'm just going to try it here, but that's, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't no little deal, but anywho, I shouldn't, I'm going to set this phone down somewhere so I can put this collar back on. If sugar catches me without my collar on, there's hell to pay, and I don't like paying hell with sugar. She's the love of my life. And she don't like me fooling around. Okay, I'll set you up here. And the windowsill. This is where I've been. Trying to get back in shape. That's the, the Peloton over there. This neck brace kind of like a jigsaw puzzle for me. Yeah. There's a mirror in here somewhere. There we go. Damn, I'm looking good. I'm looking real good. Okay, got my brace back on. Well, anyhow, this here's the little Peloton. And this thing has been a godsend. Sugar got it for us for as a family gift for Christmas. And I've got a, my, my son, stepson, future stepsons overweight and he doesn't really like exercise again this thing kind of makes it fun for him so you know and for me i mean i never would have ever considered myself you know i would have never thought of doing spinning i just never would have thought of it but you know, i can't have we can't jar my neck i can't lift any weight up over my head and you know this thing here allows me to exercise and you know, I don't put any strain on my neck, whatever. One thing I can't do is the instructors have you turn your resistance way up and then have you pedal standing up. And I'm not allowed to do that yet. So, And I and I do, I, I turn the resistance up as high as they tell me to, sometimes higher. But I've got to do it sitting down. I can't use my weight to push the pedal. So my heart rate is up above, you know, it's, it's damn near to 170 the last... Oh, 12, 13 minutes in my workout. So I'm burning some fat on this thing. And it, it's just, you know, I'm not here to do a Peloton commercial. But this this thing, I mean, if if you can afford it or, or whatever, then you want to get in shape. This, this thing's the way to go. I've never had anything make me work that hard. It's just, you know, there's people there to push you and there's a leaderboard. And I mean, I can't wait till I... I get all this stuff off and I can really get into it. I guarantee you, I'm going to get in the top 10%. I'm just going to. So I'm not going to have a belly much longer. So I just I just love the darn thing. I can't wait till I can start, you know, lifting weight up over my head. I'm already losing muscle. That thing's starting to get pretty small already. And anyhow, I just, I'm all about, I'm all about being fit. I just, it's something I kind of got into. A little late in life, but it's always you know, better late than never, I guess. Well, anyhow, that's this is where I'm getting in shape at. Well, anyhow, we're gonna 
we're gonna go on oh by the way this here is not a michigan hat that's my little brother used to coach meridian football team so that's what the m's for everybody's like you're a michigan fan nothing against michigan but no i'm a meridian now i'm an eagle fan so anyhow shout out to my little brother and now I'm bringing you down here. This is where I grind my chains and whatnot. There, there's a Subaru work rig. I'm having some front end trouble, so. Well, what am I doing here? It's winter out there. Here in the Lewiston, Nevada, you can you can see we got quite a bit of snow. Well, there's my there's my trusty old pickup. There's my conglomeration of chainsaws. There's only one of them running right now, and that's the old trusty 660. This thing here, I'm waiting for Daniel to send me a carburetor for it. I'm having some carburetor problems. And here is my chain grinder. I've done so much modifying to this thing. I mean, you wouldn't believe what all I've done to this thing. I, I've owned this this grinder since 1990. I want to say four. I put a new motor on it. The motor went completely in. It went. I'm trying to keep this channel kid friendly, so I could really gotta rethink a lot of my terms. But yeah, it it it, it went. It. Uh, it pooped the bed. So, anyhow, well, there's the, there's the wheelbarrow. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I just really just wanted to give you guys an update on, on what's happening with me. So, there's the, there's my wood pile. I got tarped up. It's, it's starting to get low. We got enough to get through the winter, but, but I, I kind of. I'm just bored out of my mind, and I'm just kind of giving you a look into my life here. So, all I got now is watching TV, that Peloton bike, and then fooling around on the internet, which I'm doing all the time. So, mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's that's that one. Better shut the door off. back up the stairs working on them leg muscles yeah oh two at a time two at a time <laughs> almost fell there oh this is where i feed myself i'm trying to eat healthy now and this thing right here is amazing i'm just doing commercials i'm doing commercials for ninja theories i'm doing peloton commercials she pretty soon i'll have a shirt with all kinds of brand names on it be running around from town to town cutting trees yeah. Oh, there's the back deck. Recycling. We're, we're responsible when we recycle. Oh, my snow shoveler needs to get on. I'm not allowed to shovel snow yet, so that's all. That's all on my boy. I don't know. I don't really know much, guys. I know I'm. I feel very lucky. I mean, absolutely lucky. And I look at this accident as a blessing. Um, I know that sounds weird. I gotta, I gotta set you down somewhere so I can talk about this. This is important to me. Oh. See if we can. See if I can. Let's sit down and help pull it down again. But anyhow, this. This accident, it, you know, it opened up my eyes. Uh, I don't know how many near-death experiences I've had in my life. More than most people. I mean, I've, I've done crazy stuff my whole life. And, you know, I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie, I guess. But I don't know how many times I've been on the jaws of death. And I don't know why this accident is what changed things for me. But I just... I'm just going to be a better person. You know, not that I was a bad person in the past, but 
there's so many things I took for granted. The biggest thing I took for granted was relationships. I've got a network of friends that you wouldn't believe. And, you know, I've just I've took a lot of that stuff for granted. And, you know, I won't dig too deep into my past, but, you know, most people know that I had a drinking problem. And, you know, that's a whole nother can of worms. That's something I really don't want to discuss too much on here. But, but uh yeah, I've been, well, actually today, it's been four months since I've had a drink. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty proud of that. But, I don't know, I mean, that's one thing that, that I know for a fact I'm not going to do. It again. I'm not going to drink again. It's just, it ruins everything about me. It completely changes who I am. But, like I said, that's a whole other can of worms. I just, you know, every day is a gift. And... And I'm going to, I'm going to make the most of every day. And I just can't wait to get back to sun again. You know, that everybody's like, oh yeah, you know, you need to get retrained and do whatever. You should never cut trees again. But I'm a timber cutter and I love it. And I think it shows, I'm, I just love it. And, you know, every, every time I get to working around somebody new, I learn some new trick, whether it's something to do or something not to do. You know, I pay attention. You know, I, I can learn from anybody. There's not anybody that has a chainsaw that I can't learn something from. A lot of times it's something not to do or something or but but I gain from the experience and if somebody's talking, you know, whether it be about how to sharpen a chain or or you know whatever, I I tune into that that stuff. I'm just kind of going off on a tangent here, but I just I got so many people behind me and so many people that love me. And I am, I'm not going to take that for granted anymore. And I'm going to show people how much I love them. And I'm, I'm going to show them the best way just by taking care of myself. And as long as I'm healthy and, you know, thinking right, you know, it's just, my love for other people is going to show. And, and that's what, you know, that's what God wants. That's what this whole life's about is just, you know, being the best you can be. And I am going to start being the best that I can be physically, mentally, spiritually. So, anyhow, I can't wait to get back in the woods and give you guys some more cutting videos. I'm going to start making it more entertaining. I'm going to try to really do something with this YouTube. I, I just, you know, bucking. If you guys, I'm sure most of, most of you people watching, you know, subscribe to him. But that, that Buck and Billy Ray, what an amazing guy. What, what a, I mean, what he's overcome. He, he's just, he's absolutely a stud. I just, I just love the guy. And I'm, I'm kind of taking some, some, I'm definitely not going to copy him, but I am, um, he's definitely somebody I look up to big time. I can't wait to meet him in person. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling on here, but you know, I, I just, I just, I love you guys. That's what I do. I love, I love you guys. And, uh, you know, God bless y'all. And, you know, be safe out there, you timber cutters. So, you never know when you might get it. So, God, I'm looking old. I mean, kind of a distinguished looking old, though. Hey, you guys take care. Bye.